Good news, everyone! The first hormone-free male birth control has entered human clinical trials. Which may not be that big an issue, because, you know, we're full of plastic and that's disrupting some things. Now, there are a few options, but there's a very specific reason why we don't have more options for men. First off, there is interest. Men have not historically had much interest in male birth control, because if you can defer that to somebody else, why want it? Then there are pharmaceutical companies who also see it as something that's not generally desirable. So why put money into the research? Why put money to get it through the FDA clearance if it's not going to end up being very popular? Most of the male birth controls that have been on the market, or never hit the market rather, they've had relatively few side effects and they've been relatively long term. Men also don't do very well with side effects. I'm sorry, that is just what has happened. But new surveys state that times have changed. Men are actually fairly interested in having options to prevent pregnancy. Estimates have stated that there's roughly 17 million men in the US who would be interested in taking control of that. I, however, do have a question for you, because I do not get this. The idea that you could be responsible for the creation of another human life, and you could prevent that, but once it's done, you have no say whatsoever? Is that not terrifying? Would you not want to get ahead of that, so to say? Now, one of the ones that have the least potential side effects, because the one that was cleared for human trials does target a receptor and may have other side effects, despite the fact it worked in macaque monkeys and mice, we don't know what that looks like in a person. Vasogel is the one that probably would end up being the best one, but pharmaceutical companies don't want to push this or pay for this because it would be a long-term solution rather than something you would continuously buy. Vasogel is a super easy procedure that just involves putting gel into the vas deferens. It's essentially a temporary vasectomy. It's long-term, wholly reversible, and I will never understand why it's not already on the market. When it comes down to it, pharmaceutical companies just don't see the value in male birth control. Women's birth control causes tons of side effects. It increases the risk of heart attack and stroke. Things like IUDs can cause infections. Some of them even end up perforating into your organs and getting lost. Why? Why can't we have more responsible options? But as long as we're there, let's talk about plastic. Yes, we are all chock full of microplastics. We have roughly a spoonful in our brains if you are an adult human, and it's collecting in other places and causing all sorts of chaos that we don't understand yet. Now, plastic is something that has never before existed on Earth. Petroleum does in various ways, but we may actually have future petroleum products in our garbage dumps, which are now decaying anoxically, meaning there's no oxygen, so microbes can't really do an effective job of digesting it. So, you know, the crows that inherit the Earth might have to deal with similar problems a few million years down the road. <laughs>